Hello out there all my DIY artsy crafty friends and family. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Dee, the Messy Perfectionist, and on this channel I am sharing my love and learning for all things artsy crafty related with a heavy focus on the newish to me expansive and beautiful world of adult coloring as I have been learning and sharing on my journey with all of you. In today's video, I will be sharing with you another book reveal flip through of this Christmas coloring book by Johanna Bassford. This is one I have been sitting on to flip through. I got this some time ago and have waited to even look at it until I could honestly review and flip through with all of you guys out there. And now that we have passed Thanksgiving, which happy Thanksgiving to all of my friends out there that live in the US. I hope you had a wonderful time with your friends or family and uh, are feeling the love and gratitude of all of the good things that we have to be thankful for in our lives right now. Sometimes it's hard to see, but I always feel like we can always find at least one to 10 billion things when we really start thinking about it, of things we can be grateful for. So anyway, this is the start of Christmas season. I have already started doing a little bit of Christmas coloring myself, doing a page out of, um, I think it's Seasons from Hannah Carlson's books. And I'll share that with you guys in my November uh, completed pages flip through. So if you have not yet subscribed and you like content like this, or there's something you see or hear please do consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button, the notification bell, leaving a comment, sharing, all of those good things. It really does help a little channel to grow and I am so enjoying creating content and sharing my own journey with all of you guys out there. So thank you so much to all of you for doing the things and also I am thankful for all of you guys who have been with me from the beginning of this journey and who have encouraged me, have taught me new things, have inspired me with your own work. I really am thankful and appreciate all of you for that. So with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so like I said, I got this a while ago, but had not flipped through it. You can tell it has never even been opened. It was a purchase from online, probably Amazon. And I just was like, I'm going to put it away until I can officially get ready for Christmassy holiday feeling vibe things <laughs> and share it with you. So here it is. Lovely cover. It really is. I just kind of love this kind of foil holly wreath in the front and just, I just love it. I think it's so pretty with the shine and then the rest is the black and white. So let's see on the back here little barcode here but you can see in the back there it looks like it retails USA $15 and Canada 20 and the back of it says a beautiful new adult coloring book that celebrates the joys of the holiday season from flurries of delicate snowflakes to deliciously decorated gingerbread houses and reindeer led sleighs Johanna's Christmas is a celebration of this wonderful holiday season inviting you to pick up your pens and pencils to color complete or embellish each of the festive artworks hidden in this book is a flock of elusive little robins can you spot them all and then just a little bit about the author, um, that she's the creator of Magical Jungle, Lost Ocean, Secret Garden, and Enchanted Forest. Her coloring books have sold more than 20 million copies worldwide. And here is um, some of her information if you want to visit her website or uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And it, her, this book is pretty typical, as is her other books, it looks like. Just the same as Rooms of Wonder or Worlds of Wonder. It's got that nice flap um, page here so that you can, you know, bookmark things if you want to. I love this. How fun is this just even to color, you know, all the little ornaments and things like that. So first page is beautiful. I like the title page very much. This is Johanna Basford, Johanna's Christmas, a festive coloring book. We've got the illustration information here it looks like this one is an oldie so 
probably most of you who are Johanna Basford fans already own this or or have it. It looks like 2016. So there's that. The name page that is pretty common with her books. I did just notice these pages are perforated. I don't think they are in Rooms of Wonder or Enchanted Forest or any of those other ones. Let's just take a look here. Are they? No, they are not. Interesting. Oh, you know what the first thing I noticed with this as well? These pages are thick. They are heavy stock. I would say they are thicker. Well, let me see. Yes, they feel thicker than um, Rooms of Wonder say. And also, and I like this, do you notice the difference in the color pages? This has that kind of that yellowish paper or cream color, I guess you could say. Um, very much as Enchanted Forest does, which I very much like. Actually, look how Enchanted Forest is even darker. I like that. Now, I don't know if this is just darker because maybe it was older, sitting on the shelf longer. I'm not sure, but so this is not quite as dark as the pages in Enchanted Forest. Let's see if the pages feel about the same thickness. This does feel like a thicker card, like a cardstock type page. Um, so the Christmas book is lighter than Enchanted Forest, but that off-white color and definitely darker than Rooms of Wonder, as you can see here. In case you are curious and you have uh, some more of Johanna's books, which I'm sure you do if you are a Johanna Basford fan. Put these back on my shelf over there. Next page has the introduction information. I'm not going to go ahead and read all of this, but I will uh, leave it here for a moment. And if you wish to read this, you could always freeze the video or come back to it later if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the book. Uh, the first page, it looks like there is this decorated deer antlers, very cute, very pretty. So these are, oh yes, okay, so the per perforated pictures, they are single-sided, so that is unusual for her books and also perfect for using your alcohol markers on. I uh, always say put still put something behind your pages when you're using alcohol markers because they will bleed. But oh, I'm excited because I can finally use some alcohol markers in one of Johanna's books. That's awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. If you don't, you could always just use your pencils and also color the back even. So little ideas I'm tossing around in my head as I'm sharing with all of you. <laughs> so we have a beautiful wreath here. Oh, this is going to be such fun Christmas coloring. Christmas tree. Oh, and the backs of the pages are not all the same. So you most definitely could color the back of these pages. Or work on them with your kiddo. I have some ideas. Maybe that's something. She's getting so good at coloring. It's amazing. So this is interesting. So we've got this. Oh, it's a double page. Okay, so we've got a double page. Now are all these perforated? I'm so confused here. And it says in this book, you will find 37 images that you can easily remove per perfect for sending as a holiday greeting or even for framing. So maybe they just tear out easy. I'm not sure. I generally don't tear pages out of my books, but this kind of gives you an opportunity to do that. So something to consider. This is a lovely page. I have some kind of Christmas winter palettes. I'm really excited to try out um, from the color catalogs that I've just love so much. Uh, from Sarah Renee Clark. If you're unfamiliar with her, I can leave her uh, link down below for her website for her color catalogs and such. It is an affiliate link, so I believe if you click on that link and you do purchase something from her site, I get a small 
uh, commission from it. I, ha I just started this, so I really have no idea how any of that works. So, but just to be transparent, it is an affiliate link and that would be awesome if you did want to buy something from her and you did use it and can see how that works out for me. I do love the Christmas ornament pages. They are so pretty. Oh, this gingerbread house is so cute. So I'm looking at this and I am envisioning a really pretty watercolor background. I don't know why, but I just kind of saw that. It's like, oh, do some like a bright watercolor background with the neutral colors of the gingerbread house. I mean, the candy and the or uh, little candy ornaments will be colored, but just a thought. Oh, look at him, this little polar bear on an iceberg with little presents on his back. How cute is that? That would be such a fun opportunity to create some other uh, background elements like he's in the Arctic, North Pole, Northern Lights in there, Aurora Borealis, am I saying that correctly? Kind of a snowflake and reindeer mandala. I love this so much. How pretty is that? This book is so cute and I love that it's all like Christmas theme and holiday theme because I feel like I love Johanna Basford and I love her books, but um, I feel like a lot of the things are very similar. So it, this is a very different variety of her artwork, I guess, for me. So I love that. Oh, like the nutcrackers. I love them. I just bought a nutcracker that I couldn't resist. He was so vintage and traditional looking. I got him from a grocery store. I saw him, so reminded me of my childhood memories of my mom and my grandma. And I just, yeah, I had to have him. And he kind of looks like this one. He has uh, the cape and a little jeweled crown and he's holding a little uh, pine tree. He's just very sweet. What is this? It's like a Christmas mandala, trains and snowmen, how fun. Oh, look at this gingerbread town. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the spine, you guys, so we can get a better look at these pages now that we're kind of to the middle of the book. Be such a fun double page or you could do them single if you wanted to do them different but I think it would be so fun to do it as a page and then have like a mountainous background or just something do something with the background that connects it would be a lot of fun some candy and gingerbread men this is just a fun little page sweet little bird with presents This is a pretty page too. When I was a kid, I loved drawing Christmas trees like this. I would draw them constantly at Christmas time. So, and they looked just like this, you know, just <laughs> the little tree with the, I would put the garland crisscross like that and then little ornaments. So, oh, it's very uh, reminiscent of those days. Oh my gosh, I can't turn the page today. Oh, the little music box putting out, oh, holiday cheer. I love it. Owls, he's cute. Snow globe, lovely. Snowflake, I think, yes. We must have another double page coming out here. Yes. Oh, look at that little scene. Fireplace, rug. I love the fireplace all decorated. And then here you have your Christmas tree and all the presents. It reminds me very much of Nutcracker Sweet. Lovely.
rocking horse. Just a page of some random ornaments. I am going to be having fun in this book, I think, for the holiday season. I say that just like I said it around Halloween, and then as you guys see, I didn't do that many Halloween theme type pictures because as I've said before, I kind of got to just color how, what I'm feeling at the moment. And if I'm really not feeling a certain thing, I don't want to color it because then I never feel like, I feel like it shows in my pages. Like I struggle with it more if that makes sense. I like the little cuckoo clock. Sweet little bunny and some flowers. It looks like one of those plates. poinsettias. I do love poinsettias. Very much remind me of my grandmother. People would bring her a lot of poinsettia plants for Christmas so she would have on her dining room table sometimes many poinsettia plants and it was just beautiful. Heart. Oh we got, got another double page coming up here little decorative elements. You guys just see me kind of breaking this book in as we're flipping through. Sweet little birds. Looks like we've got Santa's sleigh over here. Cute. Little ornament with poinsettias. Little holly wreath around it. This is pretty with the two deer and very pretty decorative elements. Hmm. I like this. Reminds me of garland strung. Oh, and I guess that's it. And here's a color uh, test page you can use. And the last page is blank. Back cover, same as front cover. Kind of just want to color these pages right here. They're just so pretty. <laughs> many, many beautiful pictures in this very festive Christmas book from Johanna Basford. So that is it for this book. Let me know what you guys think down below and if you have this book and what you think of it. Also, if there is something that you would like to see me color on camera in this book, let me know as well and I will try to comply. I have not done many color alongs over the last couple months and there's two reasons for that. I mentioned this in my October flip through, but busyness, <laughs> just really being busy with starting with the holidays and uh, kiddos school and all of those things. Um, and kind of the other reason also is it takes a long time to record and edit and I have to sit here and do that. Uh, so I've been doing a lot more coloring like downstairs and just relaxing with my family, doing that there so it's enjoyable. And uh, I don't get that many views on my color alongs, I will be honest. And that's fine, I don't take that personally at all. I think that there are many, many beautiful colorists out there to watch for that that know what they're doing and since I don't know what I'm doing and kind of winging it, I get that totally. So I'm not sure if that's something I should continue putting a lot of effort into or or not. I don't know, I guess I'll go back and forth, but I just thought I'd throw that out there to get your guys' um, input or uh, what you think of me doing more color alongs. Uh, probably, like I said, I don't know how it will be as far as this month goes because there are also other crafty projects that I want to do in regards to gifts and such, um, possibly with 
using my Cricut machine again, which I made a lot of Christmas gifts last year that way. So if my focus is on that up here, I'll probably just want to do my coloring, relaxing time. And then, of course, you guys always see my completed pages reveal at the end anyway. And honestly, I feel like I get a lot more coloring done <laughs> when I'm not recording my coloring, uh, probably just because of that. Like, I'm, I'm being more casual about it. I don't have to worry about editing, all of those things. So... I hope you guys did enjoy this video and thanks for listening to my little rant here at the end. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you so much. You are awesome. I hope you all have a beautiful, fun-filled uh, holiday season wherever you live, wherever you're at in your life. And until we speak again, remember to always be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and always take a little bit of time for yourself. Have a great day. Bye.